This is Russian military muscle being flexed. Drills and maneuvers designed to send a clear message to NATO and anyone else watching that Russia is ready and prepared to defend her interests. But these interests could clash with European ones, like they did in Ukraine. David Cameron and now, Prime Minister David Cameron has written to his NATO partners, urging them to adopt a much tougher stance on Moscow. In his letter, the Prime Minister said it is clear that Russia views NATO as an adversary. We must accept the cooperation of recent years is not currently possible because of Russia's own illegal actions in NATO's neighbourhood and revisit the principles that guide our relationship with Russia. And I think the uh, most interesting part of the letter is when he says that Russia would appear to have torn up the rule book. Well, Russia may well have done that, but I think what Mr Putin has got to remember and I think this summit has got to spell out very clearly, is that NATO has not torn up the rule book. And the particular rule that it's not torn up is Article 5 of the North Atlantic Treaty, which says that an attack on one country is an attack on all member states. And what NATO's got to show is that actually it stands by that, that its defence spending is at a good level, and its military capability is at a, cre a credible level. The Ukraine crisis was brought to a head following the downing of flight MH17. Suddenly, European leaders realized that Russia's reach extended far beyond her borders. The threat of Russian expansion at will and unchecked is now one that must be taken seriously. But while Mr Cameron favors ramping up his military options, his NATO allies, especially the European ones, are more inclined to seek diplomatic solutions to the crisis. For example, around 40% of the gas used in Germany comes from Russia. It's not just Germany. Germany, in many ways, actually, has really stepped up to the mark. It's the fact that even Holland, that lost nearly 200 citizens in this plane, has so far been reluctant to stand up and criticise. Italy and Spain have been very reluctant to do anything against Russia at all. So this is going to be a very, very delicate diplomatic move. Russia has shown she is immune to threats. Tough talking has not translated into tough action so far. And that's exactly what David Cameron is trying to change. But getting his NATO partners to agree is going to be a hard sell. President Putin is literally banking on it. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.